guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I've got a What's New in Makeup. So I'm going to start off with face products first because there's been quite a few face products that I've been loving. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrolonic Acid Setting Mist. This stuff is absolutely beautiful. I've never ever owned a face spray that has had such a fine mist. I love that you don't get too much product. I also love that you don't get like a lot of like heavy bits come on. I know sometimes with some other face sprays that I have, I feel like I get chunks of the actual setting spray. This applies a really soft, even amount and the smell is really, really beautiful. I have sensitive combination skin that's oily and this has not made me break out. It's actually really helped my skin texture from the cold winter to spring and summer. So I've really, really been loving this to pieces did take me quite a while to get my hands on this little cutie because um, whenever I'd try to get it, it was out of stock but I finally got it and I got a few backups as well and I'm absolutely in love with this the second two items that I've been loving is from Maybelline so Maybelline recently came out with their dream urban cover full coverage lightweight protective foundation this has SPF 40 in it and this was the main reason why I got it because Sydney summers are crazy, the heat, the sun is so damaging for your skin and I wanted something that would be really protective. I do not find that I go oily throughout the day when using this but I do set my face with the Colourpop setting spray, my translucent powder from Flower Beauty and I use my Fenty primer underneath as well. So I did actually pick up two shades in this. I picked up the 110 porcelain shade and I also picked up 112 Natural Ivory because I wasn't quite sure which one I would be. So I will include swatches at the end but I've been really, really loving this. I've been using it for like the past month and I've been just adoring the pigmentation, the longevity, how it's lightweight but I know that my skin's protected as well. I was on the lookout for a brand new concealer and I found a beautiful one from Rimmel London. It is actually called Edition by Rimmel London. It's a two-in-one concealer. You get a cream concealer in one half of the pot and then you get a setting powder on the other half. So I have looked around and I haven't actually seen these available at Priceline. I've only seen them at Chemist Warehouse. So if you definitely are on the lookout for a new creamy concealer, definitely try this one out. I love it. I've got spares already. So the shade that I picked up is 1110, which is the fair shade. You've got a little mirror and then you've got the product and then you undo the base and the base has got a setting powder underneath and I use this for blemishes, redness, um, to conceal my eyes before I apply foundation and I find that it helps the foundation not crease at all. Um, this is just a little gem that I'm so happy I found. The last thing that I've got from Chemist Warehouse face-wise is two brushes. So I've got a big blush brush, which I don't technically use for blush. I use for foundation application and powder. I love the buffing that this does and I like the really big faucet on the head as well. I also picked up a double-ended duo eye brush. I use the first part as the eyeshadow brush. It's a really good tapered end and it's beautiful for blending and adding things into the crease. And then I've been using this flatter side for concealer. I find it's really, really nice and it has a nice fluffy texture so it adds a concealer evenly. And these were both $4.99 when I got them. I think they're on a sale. Alrighty, so now I'm going to show you what's new in eyeshadow palettes. I've got three, uh, four new eyeshadow palettes. Three are Colourpop, one is not a Colourpop palette, but it's a beautiful little palette nonetheless. Uh, this one I picked up when I was with um, a church friend of mine and we went into Sephora. So I picked up the Nude Light Huda Beauty. I really, really love these little compacts that she's doing. Um, I love the packaging. I love it. It's a really cute little mirror inside. It's just beautiful for traveling. And I really, really love the colors of these eyes shadows. They are seriously beautiful and stunning. I love the pigmentation. I do really love her duo chromes. They're really, really beautiful. And to me, this just screamed springtime and summertime. And I've been really, really loving this. Alrighty, so I do have three new ColourPop palettes. Did I really need more ColourPop palettes? No, not really. But two are Disney and one I've been wanting for a long, long time because it was only available at Ulta and I finally got my little makeup hands on it. So this palette that I'm going to show you is the Truly Madly Deeply palette. I have been obsessing over this ever since I saw it when they posted on their Instagram that it was available at Ulta. 
Um, I live in Sydney, so we don't have an altar. So thank you so much, Colourpop, for finally putting it on your website. Look at this little stunner. Doesn't it just scream festive season and summertime? I just adore it so, so much. I'm really loving this pink shade. There's some beautiful matte shades and beautiful glitters and some beautiful transition shades as well. And I'm just so super happy with this palette. It's just beautiful. Now, the two Disney palettes. So they did release their Disney designer collection a while ago. I have been also loving the blushes from that collection as well. But this eyeshadow palette is amazing. This is such a beautiful palette. I'm obsessed. I love the purple shade because it reminds me a lot of Meg from Hercules. And I really love this green sage colour. You've got a beautiful arrangement of mattes, lovely transition shades, a few glitters, and a few, like, um, duochrome ish shades. And you've got a few more mattes down the bottom. That's what I love about this palette. You've got a whole row at the top that is basically, well, three are mattes. Two, I'd say, are, like, the shimmer shades and then you've got a whole load of mattes down the bottom you can do a fun day look a fun night look i just am obsessed with this palette so much also the packaging is absolutely stunning on this palette as well now the newest disney colourpop collection so when I found out they were releasing a Frozen 2 collection, I was super excited. I was super excited for my sister because she loves Frozen to pieces. And I was super excited to see what colours they had. So the one palette that I picked up first was the Anna palette. So the Anna palette comes with nine pressed pan shadows. They are very autumnal looking and I so love that. And I love that it's purple. I love that you've got a few beautiful neutral shades in the palette. You've got a pressed glitter. Um, I don't tend to use pressed glitter on the eye because my eyes are sensitive normally so I tend to not use them. But I really love this beautiful shimmer shade in the palette. It's so stunning. And the packaging for this is insane. It is so pretty. I also kept the cardboard box because the cardboard box is too pretty to throw out. I did order the Elsa palette but that hasn't arrived yet. So yeah, that is in my what's new for makeup. If you have anything new for makeup, let me know what you've been loving at the moment. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.